Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle are the envy of women all around the world. They're both married to real-life princes. They both reside in castles. Kate in Kensington Palace and Meghan will be splitting her time between Buckingham Palace and Frogmore Cottage. They both have beautiful children, Kate, a mother to three and Meghan, a new mother to one. Both duchesses, without a doubt, have beautiful lives. Lives filled to the brim with love and royal work to occupy their time. Even so, both women also had to give up quite a bit to be where they are today. So, who do you think gave up more, the Duchess of Sussex or the Duchess of Cambridge? What did Kate Middleton leave behind for Prince William? Kate and Prince William tied the knot in April 2011 eight years ago. Since getting married, they've been through quite a lot. Kate made the move from British commoner to a beloved duchess. William went from single guy to doting husband. The pair grew beautifully together, ending up with three beautiful children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. It's really been a fairy tale brought to life. But to get to where she is today, Kate did have to leave some things behind. For one, being a British commoner, Kate lived a very peaceful life, one she had to give up to walk by William's side. While they were dating, she got a taste of the royal life. It overwhelmed her, leading to two brief breaks in their relationship. It wasn't just her privacy she gave up either. She also sacrificed her independence. During the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's brief separation in 2007, Kate was seen living it up. She was photographed at many events, and her friends got to enjoy watching her bloom and achieve comfort in her own skin. She even signed up for a women's only boat race. One she trained very hard to win. Once their relationship got back on track, she pulled out. Confirming her friend's worst fears. Kate was losing herself for the sake of true love. What did Meghan Markle sacrifice to become a duchess? Meghan was a successful Hollywood starlet when she retired. She withdrew from a show she had become a fan favorite in and left her acting dreams behind. The controversial Duchess worked extremely hard to make it in Hollywood, to walk away from her hard-earned dream must have been difficult. But with love on the line, who could blame her? Without a doubt, it's Meghan's career that was of the hardest hits, but it wasn't the only one. Unlike Kate, Meghan hailed from a completely different world. Sure, they're both commoners, but turning an American celebrity into a British royal is no easy feat. While it's clear Meghan gets some leeway, in some sense, she also had to leave the lax rules and regulations attached to her nationality behind as well. Then there are the more material items. When Meghan moved across the world to stand beside her prince, she sold her condo her own personal space. What's even worse is that she couldn't take her beloved pup with her. Not to mention all of her friends. Which Duchess gave up more for the royal family? Both the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge had to give up a lot of independence, to claim their royal titles. Kate lived a simple but thriving life out of the spotlight. One that traded in to stand in the limelight with her hobby. Meghan exchanged her celebrity status for royal status. While she was accustomed to the fame and attention, being a royal comes with a set of rules that pretty much turned her life on its head. Gayton was already a British resident so the move, while overwhelming, didn't necessarily mean leaving her friends and family behind. Meghan, on the other hand, has to cross the seas to be with her besties. It really is hard to decide who lost more, especially when you take into consideration Kate's friend's commentary. At least both women seem unbelievably happy and it's unlikely that either regrets their life-altering decision.